M0 FXB Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So we have a Facebook post here from uh, Yip Loon. Thank you very much. And it's letting us know that there's the new ID52 firmware update 1.23. So I've clicked on that. Um, so let's have a closer look at that. If we look here, update 9th of May. And it's, I wouldn't say there's um, a big, you know, a big change. Fixed an issue where Vox timeout timer default three minutes could unintentionally work when TX all was selected in the share pictures function. Other minor improvements as well. So they've even got the uh, a new programming software of this version, 1.23. So it is a very simple, I will do a video on this, uh, but the instructions are here download the zip, um, insert the micro zip card with the firmware data into the transceiver. So you download the zip, slide over the card, the firmware update file into the card, and then just follow, go to your SD card, go to firmware update, um, and to go through, I'm, I will make a video doing this, I just thought I'd uh, quickly get this on YouTube, and then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll now move on to the next part of this video, um, and show you how to do it. 7.3, all the best. To check what firmware you have, you just go menu, over to settings, others, go down to others, and then go down to information, at the top information, and then you've got voltage or version, just hit version here, and look, I've already updated, but 1.23, so you'll probably have 1.22 or something. So the next part is go to the bottom and click I have read and understood download and then we'll get the zip here like so straight away we can see that so we'll extract that somewhere where I'm I'm gonna find it so we just go extract to and I just put it I may have an icon 52 file yeah there's one here I'll put it in there so you know where you're going to find it, click OK, and that file, data file, will be there. Now we're going to move over to our radio. Yeah, so um, I would say make a backup first on your phone. So just go menu, set, go down to SD card, and then I would go look, save settings first, okay? And let's save it here, click yes. Make sure you've done that so you've got all the correct files on your SD card for when you put it in the PC, like so, and then just go down to unmount, click unmount, unmount, which means basically take it out and then turn it off, and then to take it out, you just sort of push it like so, click it gently, and then pull it out. It's, you might need tweezers, but yeah, and then put that on your PC and we'll get the file on there and then we'll do the file transfer after. Okay, so we've got the, we've put the SD card in the PC. This is what shows up. And what I do is just click where we saved it, like so. And I'll just copy that. Look, you've even got a CSV file there. But anyway, I'll copy that. And then we'll go back to that file which is the, the the USB drive in the computer paste it here there you go so right click then paste and then just drag it up to the 52 now if that doesn't show up so the, there's the old one there's the new one hopefully that will just show up remember the number 52E123 now we're going to take that out we're going to eject it safely just go right click eject like so and then we're going to put that into the radio okay back at the radio we've taken the SD card out of the PC so it goes in the radio this way round so it should turn it off slip it in just very gently just don't force it it needs to go in easily and just click you know a little click okay it's in there now we just go to menu, over to set, down to SD card, then go to firmware update, and then you'll get this risk. Now scroll down, okay, 
And then do you agree to the above? So you're agreeing to the, you know, about if you brick your radio. Uh, so do you agree to the above? Yes. Uh, make a backup. Now, I've already done that. You saw me earlier. But if you want to make a backup, just click yes. In this case, I'll say no. And then look, there's the two firmware, the little white files that you saw inside my PC. So look, we're going to choose 2.3, which is the later one. Um, you'll get this message, firmware updating takes three minutes. So with all the way down, do you want to start upgrading? Click yes. And it will check the file and load it all up for you. And if you've got the Japanese radio, you're going to have to you get the version from Japan. Don't use this version. This is the Europe version. And if you're in the USA, you want the A version. And that's it. We're all up to uh, the latest firmware. Okay, so let's just check we've got the right versions. All we do is just go menu, set, down to others, pushing the middle button as well. At the top, information, select. Then look, we've got voltage or version. Select and we're on 1.23, so all updated. Thanks for watching my video. Catch you on air, 7-3, all the best.